oh, look, oh, I'm going to shut up completely. We have, we have a guest. And who is this? Let me, uh, it's my great pleasure <laughs> to introduce Georgette Dante, um, a woman of many talents. How are you, Georgette? Lovely to see you. How are you? I'm good, honey. You look, I love your hair. Beautiful. You know, I think Georgette, I'm Ninon, um, and uh, you look very uh, comfortable there. I am. I'm at home, relaxing, and enjoying life. You do. You might want to put yourself on a little bit more of an angle, because all I've got is just your legs, and your body is way back. And let's get your legs to get you a little bit, little bit more. Oh, somebody else is in there. Who's that in there? And she's helping me out. Oh, we're well, telling her to move out of the picture. <laughs> okay, you got it right. Um, yeah, how are you? Is that all right now? Are you there? Hello? I'm Yes, we want to see your lovely face, Georgette. We want to see you, all the wonderful you that you are. We want to see all of that. Yeah, let me give it a little okay. bit closer to your face. What is she, my table over. Looks like she wants to show her legs. I mean, you know, if that's what she wants. Oh. What's all I got going for me is my legs. <laughs> you have 72 now. You that's all hanging in there is my legs. Yeah, you're perfect. You see me now, honey? Yeah, you're perfect. Hubba hubba? Hubba hubba. You there? Hubba hubba. <laughs> yeah. hubba. I'm there. <laughs> so, um, Georgia, we're going to have a little conversation um, first. And then uh -huh. one, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get a, a two minute sort of um, what you want and how we can arrange to get what right. you, we can do. So, let's have a little bit about you. Um, number one, how old are you? I'm 72. How old? 72, and I, I have performing now since I was three years old. I was born and raised by the circus. I was 69 years performing. I'm in 12 books, four that. museums, seven it. movies. Did you really say, I used to work, did you say 72? I said 72. You I don't drink, I don't smoke, <laughs> yeah, and I don't date. Is everything the else? The main thing, honey, Hello. I don't date, I haven't dated since 1972. I don't have those psychological problems, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. So, um, how do you, how, how do you like your career? How, how has it been for you? Have you, have you kind of done everything you like? Or you look like honey, you've got some stuff left? Well, honey, I, I'm, a, I'm a legend of burlesque. I'm a legend of the circus. I worked with lions, tigers, cougars, uh, I wrestled alligators. I was once buried on the ground in my van for a week with 102 rattlesnakes promote boxing and wrestling. I'm very strong. I do acrobatics, fire breathing, pickpocketing, hypnosis, strong women. Uh, born and raised in the circus, put up tour on carnival rides, drove semi trucks. I worked 18, 20 hours a day. And now I'm preparing for the movie business, producing and directing to the movies. Let me ask and you the first movie. Let me you ask, there? Yeah, let me ask you a question. Um, being in the circus business and in the circus all your life, um, do you feel that you may have missed out on other life? So it's just being, because I know when you're in a circus, you're kind of in there 24 hours a day and you travel on your yeah, but see, I'm not just, yeah, but see, I'm not just circus. I was born in Ringley Brothers, carnivals. My parents had a traveling nightclub, had girl shows. And, uh, and I worked with lions and tigers and cougars and uh, performing 69 years, driving 80 to 100,000 miles a year and working 18, 20, 30 hours, no, no sleep two, three days at a time. So I'm a, I know how to work hard. So and you, in the movies, I'm sure I'm going to be doing a movie about abusing battered women, veterans, oh. not, not veterans, uh, homeless, uh, gay people. It's going to be called Body and Mind. Oh. And I'm also going to be doing a movie about my life as well. Right now, Jimmy Madonna did a document, documentary on me. And yeah. it's uh, 400 pictures, 20,000 words, and uh, seven movies. I just got to do a movie. I played the grandmother of a famous opera singer with a tonio. Have it's to, called uh, Finding God Now. You're too young to be a And it's supposed to be released. It's supposed to be released on the day the virus hit. So we got to put that little hole. But I'm starting, I need financial back and start my movie company. Commercials, recording studios, and I have bands. I worked with Bob Hope, Chubby Checker, Buddy Hackett. Well done. I, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in set, uh, I'm in 12 books. Connect. And I've been in seven movies. <laughs> you talk all the time. Oh, yeah. I can't ask you a question. Um, okay. I, 
very well. Um, so what's the name of the company of your, uh, the, the name of your movie company? What's the name of it? Well, it's going to be called GD Productions. I'm George Dante. Okay. And if you want to know more about me, go to my Facebook. And you're going to see the different shows I've done and uh, the Lions and the Tigers and the Cougars and, and uh, the movies and TVs and shows I've done and celebrities I've worked with. And uh, I travel, like I said, 80, driving 80, 100,000 miles a year. You're driving? Whole life. You, you did the driving? Oh, I always did my driving. I don't date. I don't socialize. And I, as I said, I go two, three days at a time, no sleep, because in a circus and a carnival, you put up, you tear down, you back down the road again. I, I couldn't and have just, dating. I don't think it's necessary to date. I was married for 29 years. I've done my thing. I put my time in. I'm now a free woman. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, that's why I said, that's why I don't date. I'm dating 1978. I do not need the psychological problems. No. I love me. I don't give me no problems. <laughs> and if you do, it's your fault. <laughs> You trust me. I know how to take care of me if I need have any if I need sex with somebody. I can take care of me just fine. <laughs> I don't need I don't not need the problems. I've been there, done that. You see, the first movie I'm gonna do is gonna be uh, about abusing and battered women, and because you know, women's been through so much, they really have. That's the reason why I don't date. I've, I've been there, done that. So, so in other words, you've been abused. I not for long. I don't put up with honey. I, I was married for four weeks. Yeah. I, I, he tried to beat me up, put a pencil in my throat. I, I put my brass knuckles on. You know, certain carnival people look pretty well now. I broke his nose, his back jaw, four ribs, and his ring finger. I want that ring off the finger. So okay. you don't give me no SH if you know IT. I'm so I, I, don't, I don't take no abuse at all. Never did, never will. <laughs> I'm very friendly with you. I don't want to get beaten up by you. <laughs> So, and what can I help you with? Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, we, we, we need financial backing. But I don't want just any financial backing. I want people, whoever, financial money-wise, I want to make sure that we, we communicate well. Okay. Because you have someone that has their own way of thinking, and I'm 69 years performing, and I got some beautiful, and I, I'm in Dusty Summers, she's one of my partners. Okay. I'm in two of her five books, and David Williams, uh, he used to do publicity growing in by the circus. He's one of my partners. And uh, Grand Filippo has a fabulous museum with all kinds of beautiful, beautiful wardrobe. And the day the bars hit, his museum was going to be open. So I got good quality, good quality, good people, old school. Of course, I'm a new generation, you know, to uh, tell our stories, you know what I'm saying? George, <laughs> you should have your own movie. You should make a movie about yourself because you're amazing. You are a legend because you know all these <laughs> I do. I am a legend. I, well, I've worked hard to be that way, too. And, and uh, I have a lot of legends in my life that I, I care about. Our stories need to be told as well. And yeah. I'm already, like Jimmy Madonna did, he did uh, Tammy Wynette, Al Green. He did uh, 400 pictures and 20,000 words about my life. Wow. <laughs> so, so you've done and I'm already in seven movies already. And the first movie I did was called Monster and the Stripper. It wasn't a... Uh, I was, so yeah. anyway, I've, I've done... Did you, I, I know I know I'm doing I just need the money. <laughs> the moolah moolah. Did you do the strip? Did you strip? I, I started at 12 years old. At the carnival. And the 12, by the time I was 19, I didn't take my clothes off anymore. I didn't have to. Because I do acrobatics, fire breathing, pickpocketing, hypnosis, strong women, bullet artists. You know, I, I'm novelty. I was a novelty act for most of my time. My mother, I'm a sixth generation on my mother's side. Put them on my father's side and put them on my stepfather's side and show people. You know, so my people. you're a very powerful woman, um, and you should definitely get your voice out there and help all these women that don't have the strength and the power that you have. And I think when you said you're going to do a movie about, you about know, using that women. I, I think this is amazing. I think within your movie, I think you need to put a couple of strong women in there that could be... It is going to be. It's going to be strong, healthy, and it's going to be underground Las Vegas. We're going to have a, a situation under Las Vegas. We find out about certain men treat women bad. We're going to go get them, bring them back under, under the ground, and treat them exactly the way they did the woman. Show them how to be a better person. Because oh. they knew people don't know. If people knew better, they wouldn't be doing what they do. They wouldn't. And the other movie I'll be doing would be about uh, gay people. Okay. Gay people. It's called Body and Mind. Is that about gay Body women? and Mind. Will that be you know, sometimes you're born with a man's body, but your mind is a woman's mind. 
you know, you have to go with your demon mug. <laughs> Apparently, I don't, what I, I don't know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Trust me, I do. I know exactly what I am. But um, absolutely amazing. I just wanted to, uh, um, we got Julio. Um, Julio's now. What, can we get Julio in? Yes, this is, Hi, how are you? This is uh, Jay Perez. Is that right? Jay Perez? Yes, yes, it is. Hello, Jay. So glad that you're here. He is a videographer and a dancer in hip hop and house. He's a wonderful dancer. Hello, welcome, Jay. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you, AJ, man. Thank you for having me on your show, man. It's a big thing out here in the United States, man. I love watching you. You're very well. Uh, you can't. Your, your lighting's not good. My lighting. All right. I will get to a lighter place. I am outside. Yeah, that, that's that's a little better. Yeah, a little better. I there's a light right here. Yeah, we need we need to see you. I want to see your face. <laughs> See who you, you want to see my face. I want to see. All right. Uh, walk to the middle there, I am. And that doesn't want to get married, and a man that doesn't want to get married. So maybe we'll get you both married. <laughs> there I am. Really. So anyway, so what has your career been? Oh my gosh, my my career has spanned about thirty years in house in house music and in the dance, and um being part of the creative team that created the house dance in New York City wow. was a big thrill, was a big thrill for, for me uh, being part of something like that, you creating might... the underground. Were you very young sorry, had... started that? Yeah, yeah, was straight in the club when I was 13, 14, hanging out in clubs that I couldn't get into generally, you know, I, I'd always be snuck in or I'd always get a, uh, know somebody, you know, I was lucky to know somebody who would let me get in as long as I played the part, you know? Oh, come on. You know what they say in shows? It's not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And we know a lot of people, you know. Being in New York City in the underground, right. in New York City, was a lot of fun. It was a, it, it was a crazy time in house music. And it, when it started off, it, we helped create it. And, uh, and this is where it's at today, man. That's amazing. So, what are you going? What? You, where are you going now? You've you've done all this. You've you've achieved an awful lot. You've got all of your goals are all in order. What are you doing right now? And how can I help you get to a? Where do you want oh, to? Do, what have you got in the in that back pocket of yours? Uh, basically, I like to check out the knowledge. I like to see some teaching. I teach a few classes now, which is good. A uh, bunch of kids, uh, a couple of adults. I mean, people who just love the the music and what and what I bring to the table. I also have a very nice following here on on Facebook and um uh and it it, it helps me get my, my music, my my dancers, my, my team out and it's always a lot great fun when we are at events, people just feel the energy. It's something about a Jay Perez video as opposed to somebody else who's posting stuff out here. It's totally different. Um AJ, what would you like to say to Georgette? Georgette looks a little frustrated here. I think we need to bring her in a little bit. <laughs> yes, I just did. I want Georgette, man. All you gotta I, do is keep your head up, man. You know, there's always there's always a, a reason for things, and you know, and if you believe in the man upstairs, he'll guide you through all of this. You know, and that's 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 the most important thing is not lose yourself in all of this, and make sure you maintain a focus on what you're doing in life and who you're around and, 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 and I want to ask both of you a question. Both of you have said that you started at a very young age. Um, and I know that, that when we want to go into the entertainment business, it seems to start very young. Why? I'll let you know Why? Because I was born in it. I had no choice. I was born in reading about See, my mother also was in reading about the circus. My grandmother's a horseback rider. So you're born in it. That's, that's what I did. And I'm happy. Because yeah. people say all the time, I could have done this. I could have done that. Well, luckily for me, I was in a situation. I did it. And I had to keep on doing it, too. And I'm not doing it like yet. Trust me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love your tenacity. It's amazing. Um, is it Julia? Who, who? Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay Perez. You can call me Jay Perez. Okay. Everybody does. Okay. Um, so you started at a very young age. How old are you now? Oh, I'm close to 50. Close. I'm close to 50. I'll, I'll keep it in, in that range there. You know, 
Uh, yeah. Tony, this is fantastic. I'll tell you why. The reason it's fantastic, I've got two older people here that are both still ready to go. One's 72, one's in the early 60, and both still up there and still ready to go to the next path and do the next thing. Whereas most people are, are kind of retiring, thinking, oh, well, goodbye. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, um, but I'm pretty up there too. But Maybe not as you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You 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 don't look anything like you're up there. You are very very young. But, but oh, thank you. I like you. Absolutely, absolutely, thank absolutely. You. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at me making you blush now. Don't blush on me, girl. Um, AJ, what would you like to ask her, Georgette? Well, I just um, I love her concept about empowering women, and also. Uh -huh. Helping, helping each other. You know, we queens, all of us are queens and goddesses in my mind, and we are here to lift each other up, connect with each other, relate to each other, have a form of community, and help each other. And the kings also, we're also to help here, to be here for the kings like Jay and Jay Perez Thank and you. others. It's and, an honor to be here. Absolutely. And that's my whole mission and my belief. So, I would want to ask Georgette. Um, wine. What's that? I want some of that wine you're drinking, Georgette. <laughs> it's cranberry juice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's no, it's, it's for it's real. It, I just like fancy glasses, but it is cranberry juice. <laughs> I drink a gallon of water a day. I drink a gallon of water a day. I do four different day. vitamins, and I walk every day. That's great. AJ. AJ. Yeah, AJ, honey. Goodness. I was AJ. Yes. I got 16 year attitude, but I got 500 years of wisdom. You got me? You do, yes. 16 year attitude, but 500 years of wisdom. So I, I won't go wrong, grow old because I don't get good attitude. <laughs> um, I think it's wonderful. You there? Yes, absolutely. Ninon, uh, a window just popped up from Zoom saying we have nine minutes and 41 seconds left. So I want to let all our guests know. Where's the other? There's another guest coming in, right? Uh, I don't have him in the waiting room at all. I was hoping that another two uh, two more guests were going to come on, Chris Stokes and um, Robin Wilson, but they may. I'm not sure where what happened. So Jay, um, if nothing left, and you know, you know, you've done a, both of you have done a lot. Um, what is left for you? Um, George S is going to be doing, she's going to the production company, she's going to do films and everything about women and building us all up. What have you got in store for yourself, what you would like to do? What would you like, what is there in the back there that you haven't done yet that you would like to bring out? I'd like to actually open up a dance school for all types of dance. So many, so many different steps from ballet. I'd like to have different classes throughout the day. Uh, you know, and, and, and it's going to be like a revolving door, something like that, where you're coming in, you're seeing the previous class. You know, uh, it, unfortunately, because what, where we're at now in the pandemic, a lot of these dreams are, that we have are on hold, you know. And we can't, we can't do much here in the United States. And it's very difficult sometimes to put food on the table for some people, you know. And uh, we want to make sure that, that, that house music is the way that, that you can uplift yourself, you know. I want to teach those messages, you know. Not everybody teaches things the proper way. You know, when, when the kids look at me and they say, hey, hey uh, they call me JP. You know, JP, you know, I, I appreciate all this. These are kids who are telling me they appreciate what I do, you know, and I love that, you know. That, that will always continue. That teaching is what I really want. But do you know what I've found about this pandemic? Um, I, I, it hasn't, I seem to be working twice as hard, more than I did before. But what this pandemic has done, um, it seems to give us a lot of different directions to do something, rather than sort of the same old rut. So, you know, there's a program um, on, I think it's on, on, on the iPhones everywhere anyway, it's called Mirror. And it's giving- Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm familiar. You've heard of that. And they give exercises, and the person that's teaching you is behind you, and you're in front, but you're in your you're in your living room. Now the person exactly that, the person that thought of that was amazing because you don't have to be anywhere; you could just be in your home. So there's so many different ways now of of actually using your brain and, and and finding out which other road you want to go down, and let's try this and let's try that. And so we're, we're kind of a lot of us has been taken out of our comfort zone. We all get into a comfort zone. 
And our comfort zone is very dangerous, very dangerous because Absolutely. you're happy there and it's comfortable. You've got money coming in, you've got this happening and that happening and everything's pretty cool. Then all of a sudden the pandemic is like, don't, we're, what do we do now? Where do we go? How do we do it? But well, this gives us the opportunity, the greatest opportunity to try other things. So, so um, Jay, this is your opportunity and Georgette, I don't think I have to tell Georgette because she seems to have um, about all the time. You know, it's very, very difficult now, again, with the pandemic, where you can't be around people. But uh, that, the teachers that I know, the great legends like Ejo Wilson, Colleen Sellers, Shannon Wishmay Barber, and, and, and the list goes on. Uh, you know, what they're doing now, they're doing online classes where you do like a, uh, like you pay for your classes online. And you're still, like you said, you're not really in the room, but you're there. So they're doing a lot of that. They're very, very well known throughout the world because they've been around the world and competing in a lot of these Just Dance uh, seminars and so many, so many. So uh, being privileged to watch them and what, watch what they do, absolutely, that would be the route is to go online, keep teaching. There are people who are still interested at home. You know, <laughs> they don't, and, and, and again, my, it's more than just that. It's just getting the, 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 the actual person active. You know, you don't want to be in, in a mask up in the house and doing absolutely nothing. We I know people like that, you know, waiting for something to happen. Something, Jay, if you could say something to the younger generation, what would you like to tell them right now what they should do? Soak in as much knowledge from every legend you, you could possibly get in contact with, you know. If you're really involved in dancing, you'd want to reach out to, to legends like Tony Basil, choreographers, Melba, uh, uh, Melba, Melba, I forgot her name. Uh, so many, so many great, you know, I, I went out, when I wanted to dance, I went out to the big club, you know, Roseland yep. Ballroom in New York City. And, and, and I want to make sure that these guys are, are motivated to go into New York City and look for those stars and say, hey, Mr. Gregory Hines, I want to dance with you. Mr. Darion Glover, I want to dance with you. Okay. You know? Let me ask Georgia. Georgia, what would you like to tell the younger generation out there right now of this day and age, right from now on, what would their aim be and what should they do? Uh, first of all, get an education. Honey, I went to school two days in my whole life. I've had no education at all. My education is reading road signs along the highway and driving 80, 100,000 miles a year. I've been driving semi trucks as I was 10 and working, driving cars when I was six years old. You know, and following the semi trucks, you know, sitting on a wooden coke case with a crutch, gas hitting the brakes, uh, driving down the highway with all makeup and everything. Start performing at age three. They don't do nothing for you with that education. It's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, people say, oh, George, it's okay. You got, you, you got knowledge. No, because someone can take over my whole life. It can own my whole life. Just yeah. some paperwork. Start a movie company, recording commercials. And without education, you don't know what they're going to be doing to you. Great. So I say, kids, get, learn the guitar. Learn the piano. Learn harmonica. But get an education. Look, that way you have fun too. You know, it's performing and, and have a good time. To get the education. Wow. Absolutely. We've, Absolutely. There. we've heard from both of you, and it's been amazing. Um, AJ, they've, they've given a great uh, message. Amazing. Out there. Thank you both for giving the time and coming onto the show. Absolutely amazing. Um, and Absolutely. Vegas, are you both in Vegas? I'm right. in New York City. Huh? I'm in New York City. On New York. And Georgia, where are you? You said you're going to do the movie in Vegas. Georgia. Where are you? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, one more time. The time was, are you making... I'm in Las Vegas. Yeah, oh, you're in Vegas. I'm going to catch you on my show. I know. I'm preparing. I'm learning. No, no. I, yeah. this, I, I've been in several movies. The movie I just got to be involved with is called Flying, Finding Gardell. The day the virus oh, hit, nice. the movie couldn't, be, 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 couldn't go. So, but right now, like I'm telling the kids, the same thing. Research, anything you want to do in life. So I'm taking this time, like you're saying, to learn more about what to do with the commercials, recording studio. Um, the main thing I need financial backing. Yes. Main thing. But go to my Facebook, Georgette Dante. You're going to see me with lions and tigers and my fire eating, my, my acrobatics, a strong woman, picking two guys up, and more history there. You know what I'm saying, honey? What do we got in for this time? We've been talking. Say hubba hubba. Thank you. Thank you both. Hubba hubba, boo boo. Yeah, and that's been amazing. Um, anything we'd like to say, uh, farewells, AJ? 
Yes, thank you so much to the amazing Jay Perez, a king of house and dance and music and hip hop and also- Thank you, AJ. Oh, you're so welcome, my pleasure. I didn't get a chance to really talk to you, man, but thank you, man. Oh, <laughs> love you guys, we love you guys. And Georgette, the queen of Vegas, is, uh, the woman of many talents, burlesque, fire, uh, fire performing, like way before uh, all of these young people. Uh, maybe they could learn a little bit from you. I love it. Thank you so much.